This is a surfboard rack. It'll hold long boards. I'll show you how to attach it to your bicycle. The only tools you'll need are a five mil hex key and a three mil hex key and 10 mil socket or a 10 mil wrench. All right, so we're gonna attach this C post mount with the tube orientated in the up position. Once the bolts become snug, you'll wanna use a star pattern to uh, tighten it down, giving it even pressure across the mount. So in your kit, you'll have a few options in terms of U-bolts. Uh, so you'll wanna find the U-bolt that'll fit around the front yoke. Once you find the proper size U-bolt, you can go ahead and attach the front post. So you can tighten down these nuts with a 10 mil socket or wrench. So we have the front mount mounted to the bike. We can take these upper arms and put them in the mounts to get them properly adjusted. Now that we have these two upper arms aligned correctly, just go ahead and tighten, uh, tighten everything up. Again, for the front post, you'll need a deep 10 mil socket or a 10 mil wrench. And you just wanna alternate going back and forth while you uh, tighten this up. Now that it's tight, you can go ahead and add the lower arms. This system will easily carry a nine foot board. Again, if you're on a smooth surface, you can probably get away without using bungee cords. If you're on a rough surface, you need bungee cords. You probably just, you probably need to get short ones, hook it through there, and then just attach it up here. Uh, do the same in the front, and it'll uh, keep the board from bouncing. Also, this kit has mounting hardware if you have a, a, a rear rack, it gives you uh, two other mounts, which you can then not use the seat post. When your rack system is not in use, all you have to do is just pop out the arms. Pew, pew.